YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. And today we made it to the very end of season 19. We got PC Principal Final Justice. If you want to watch my reaction to the entire episode, the entire season, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. Y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Who's in Russia? All right, everyone, listen Bruh, up. It's PC I don't know about principal. You, but after one, I'm sick and tired of hate speech that serves to marginalize others. PC principal. Damn, the fact that they know him as PC principal is crazy. Oh. Oh my God, bro, this dude's a beast. Hold on. Holy crap. Yo, beat their asses, bro. Oh shit. An African-American puts a turtle over on his back. A transgender Filipino comes and sees the helpless turtle baking in the sun. What color is the Filipino's father? What? I didn't think you were human. Bro, that is insane. What's with that? What's with that blue light? I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I would have gotten shot too, bro, because I, I I don't know the answer to that. And one more thing. This dude took it easy on Cartman. If he went just a little bit harder, we wouldn't have had Cartman today. Jimmy's dead. What? Bro, he's I know not the whole dead. Story. PC principal killed him and tried to kill Leslie, but she got away. <laughs> PC principal is part of a huge network of radicals who kill everyone that doesn't follow their PC ideology. How do you know all this? Because Leslie's with me. I'm keeping her safe. <laughs> Cash oh, damn. Girlfriend. It gets worse. Someone in our town helped these people come here. That person faked the Bill Cosby joke to get principal Victoria fired. Who would use a Cosby joke to push their own agenda? I think you, it's bro. Stan's dad. Kyle, Stan, your dad is one of them. He had to be the one that let them in. You're letting paranoia and suspicion get the better of you. He's not letting this whole Randy being PC thing go. Like, he's not with them anymore, bro. I think homie just needed a spot to hang out in, a spot to fit in. And that's what we got, bro. He joined them and that was that. But I think it's a wrap now. There's no way to know who we can trust. So what do we do now? There's only one thing we can do. We have to get guns. Guns? The it's the fuck? only way for us to be safe. Kyle, even if we thought it could help protect us, how are we all going to get our hands on guns? <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Oh, that could have been bad. Bro, how the f did they get guns? My man's Kenny got a dually. You know what I'm saying? The butter's got the shotgun. What is happening right now, bro? Kyle got a Glock? What? You guys lay low and watch your backs. I'm gonna go keep Leslie protected. Hey. Yo, <laughs> Butters is gonna hurt his neck again with that shotgun. Don't fall too hard, partner. Do I look sweet, Butters? Yeah. <laughs> dad, where were you last night? He's mugging the shit out of his dad. Where was I out with friends doing things? Well, I'm full. I'm going to go work in the garage for a little bit. Work on what? On stuff to do things. Um. Oh, I'm going to take some of this with me. I'm still hungry. Thought you just said you were full. Jesus! What am I, on trial or something? God damn! Defensive as hell, bro. You guys are bro. really acting strange. <laughs> All right. Well... How do you like my new apartment? What happened to you? Oh Nikki? my god, I that's his place? Did he take the 26 mil? I thought you were a nice kid. Now you've got a gun? Huh. Everyone's getting one of these now, Jim. Nobody knows who to trust. Don't you kind of wish you'd had one back when Leslie betrayed you and nearly beat you to death? Touche. Nah, you wouldn't have been able to shoot that. I've got expensive taste, Jimmy. I've got a thing for high class prostitutes. Okay, Nathan. My current girlfriend? My name is Classy with an I and a little d hanging off the C that bends around and f the L out of the ASS. Nice to meet you, Classy. All I had. 
I gotta hear that one more time, bro. <laughs> Hold the f up. She's dropping bars, my guy. My name is Classy with an I and a little dick hanging off the C that bends around and f the L out of the A S S. <laughs> All it took was some PC and the whole thing was set in motion. Nah, it's a dope spot, bro. Can't knock it. I told you to get ready for bed. Yeah, I just want to finish this movie. No, Eric, this is a school night. Mom, I'm into this movie. I'm not going to bed right now. Relax. You most certainly are right now, mister. I will go to bed when this movie is over, man. Eric, oh, where did you get that? Bro, like, in my mind, I'm like, this kid better not pull the strap out on his mom. And he did just that. Turn off the light and go back to bed. I'm staying up. Eric, you march. This guy's right a gangster. His real and name's Clarence. Eric, you get your butt to bed. No means no, Bill Cadby. I told you to go upstairs. Oh, right now. oh shit. Whoa, what the hell? I'm not gonna tell you again, Eric. <laughs> Whoa, mom, what the hell? <laughs> I caught him off guard. <laughs> it is time for night night. Ma'am, put down the gun. I am your mother, and you will do what I tell you. Okay, I'm going. Well, then you go right now, mister. I'm going to bed, mom. Chillax. All right, then. No comic books, just straight to sleep. I love you, sweetie. Okay, I love you too, mom. Night, night. That's crazy. Got any help? Wow, he... He listened. Bro, the fact... That you had to get a strap... For your kid to listen to you? Either you got a bad kid... Or you're a bad parent. One or the other, bro. We have to find out who had me fired with the Cosby joke. It's the key to knowing what we're dealing with. Principal Victoria? Mr. Garrison? Caitlyn Jenner? Stan, what the hell are you doing in here? Tell me what's going on, Dad. Nothing. We're just hanging out talking about Coldplay, all right? No. I want to know what the hell is <laughs> oh going on right God. now. Oh, my God. What are you doing with that? Look, I need to show you something, okay? You need to see this, son. Oh, son. Oh, now shit. Put the f shit. Down. Tell mom. Put oh, the yeah, you gun go tell down. Him. I'll tell you, you had a gun. You'll be in more trouble than me. Mom. No, you gonna get in big trouble. Took a lot to hunt you down, PC principal. You mind telling me why you're going around the world shooting up revitalized arts and foods districts? Sir, the president is on the phone. Wants to talk to you about PC principal. Yes, Mr. President. I see, sir. Yes, I understand. We're to release him immediately, no questions asked. And we're not supposed to believe anything he tells us. Oh, huh. shit. Okay. Hey, Dad, Peach. He's being set free now, Mr. President. Can I tell the commander why? This is a matter of national security. I understand, sir. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, too, sir. May God bless the United States of America. Holy Bro, she pulled... She pulled Obama vocals out of nowhere to get him freed. This is intense. I don't think I've seen a South Park season this intense at all. Maybe it's because the entire season is connected and it's one big ass story. But damn, this is solid. A lot of people are saying this is one of their weakest seasons. I don't see it, bro. I don't see it. Warning you, you're on the wrong side of this. We're just trying to get answers. You pulled a gun on our son, Randy. <laughs> you pulled on me first, Sharon. <laughs> because you wouldn't talk to me, Dad. Stanley, let your mother and I deal with this. I told you to leave him alone. Don't tell me, Grandpa. I, I got a gun too. Family. Why oh you shit, Shelly! Whoa, whoa, Shelly! Put down the gun, Shelly. You're always acting like Stan can't do anything wrong. She doesn't always take my side. You shut up or I swear to God I'll use this. Oh, Shelly, put it down now. You don't even try to know me, Dad. I want to, Shelly. I just sometimes feel like you hate me. I want to know where the hell the kids got money for guns, bro. Guns ain't cheap. You feel me? Even if you get them off the street, they're not going to be cheap. I feel like you hate me, Randy. I don't hate you. I love you. I need to be a better husband, a better father. We all need to be better to each other. Okay, maybe I need to stop being so angry. I love Are they you coming guys. together, bro? We love you too, Dad. We just want to know what's going on with you. Oh, shit. Right. I'll tell you everything. 
Wow, these things are amazing. <laughs> well, all right, Mrs. Farnickel, enjoy. And remember, if the safety's on, you're good as God. Okay, and next customer, please. If the safety is on, you're as good as gone. Damn, so you better have it ready if you need to get it popping. Because that quote is right. You know, you ought to check out the gun show. The gun show? Yeah, it's going to have everything. And with guns being so popular, practically everyone in town is going to be in attendance. The entire town in one location? Oh, my God. Oh, no, this is giving this is giving that Vegas vibes. You know what I mean? I know exactly what I'm talking about at the concert or the hotel window. You know what I mean? This is giving me those type of vibes. PC principal said something was trying to divert and distract his subconscious mind with this. Wait, that's Leslie. Oh my God, it's Kyle. Kyle? Kyle's been protecting Leslie. They're together. He's been oh making everyone feel paranoid God. and saying you're the enemy, Dad. Well then, it's time to go ask Kyle why he sold out his own kind. How will we get him to talk? We're going to kill him with kindness. But instead of kindness, we're going to use guns. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Come on, let's go! America! Jelly, you take care of Grandpa. Okay. No, Look, no! Grandpa, just literally take care of him. <laughs> She's about to kill Grandpa, bro. <laughs> she did not hesitate, son. She was ready to blow his muffin cap back blue. Tragedy at gun show. What happened to the gun show? Not what's happened. What's going to happen? The final sweeping underneath the work. By this time tomorrow, nobody will be asking questions ever again. The ads will have won, and I will be the man. I think the ads are playing your ass. Shut up, Classy! <laughs> oh. Shut up, Mimsy! How come Mimsy's not in this episode? Hell no! What? Fuck him oh, up. Hell no, yo come down on. syndrome come ass on. just slap me. I'ma break your fing off. Yeah, Classy, I'm sorry. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I know Mimsy Harder. I'm a classy bitch. Harder, yeah. Yo, she beat the shit out of him, son. Now he earned that, bro. He earned that. Classy, thank you. You need my help? You got it. I need She damn near got rid of his syndrome, bro. Welcome back to the South Park Gun Show. We've had over 2,000 gorgeous guns come through this arena it's today. It's a arena, bro. What? Down to seven, the winners from each group. David, take us down the line. The playful and bro, lovely Australian semi-automatic owned by Father Maxi. And there's the mayor with her delightful Rhodesian Don't Ridgeback point it at anybody, bro. That's a favorite of the crowd here. Always a favorite at these shows. The judge now asking to see that Yorkshire 33 millimeter up close. No! And there it is, just a beautiful gun in motion. Everybody loves it. <laughs> it's so stupid. She got a clicker and everything. And next up will be the Bro, no the hell she didn't. Did she just give herself treats? <laughs> and next up will be Nobody the move! <laughs> Everyone just stay away. Oh, it looks like the gun show is under attack, David. Bro, everybody's locked and loaded. You son of a Stan. How could you have sided with the enemy? F you, Kyle. You're the enemy. You've both got it wrong. Jimmy? Officer Bar Brady? Classy? Randy? How do you know? How do you know Classy, Randy? How do you know who this, who this sex worker is, bro? Kyle, I know you probably thought Leslie was a kind, caring girl, but the truth is, she's just an ad. An ad? They've become sentient. They've taken human form. You can't tell what's human and what's an ad anymore. Nobody move. Okay, I want you to stay where you are. Mackie? Yes, I wanted Principal Victoria fired, but I didn't want any of this. You got me fired? Oh. Why? 18 years of answering to you. 18 years. You always tell me what to do. If you had problems with me, why didn't you just talk to me? You right. never listened. Oh, Nobody damn. listens never mind. to me. They just expect me to listen to them. I don't know. Maybe 
I got manipulated by these ads too somehow, but... Maybe from now on, people in this town need to communicate more! Care about each other! If we're gonna defeat our enemies, that's what it's gonna take! All nah, of real us shit. together! Guns is bringing them together just like it happened in, um, in Randy's house. Every time you block us, we get smarter. Every time you try to stop us, we are more. If one plan fails, we will plan another. You okay. will never be rid of ads. Hey, Leslie! Hey! First time that I'm happy to see PC principal. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit. Yo, beat her ass, bro. She talks a lot, you know what I'm saying? And she's evil. You're expelled. Ooh. What was that blue goo, dog? Hold on. Damn, should this be the thumbnail shot right here? This is kind of lit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I guess there's just one last thing to take care of. Why did it have to be like this? Is it Why couldn't we try to live on this planet together? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Maybe we're not perfect beings. Why are you talking to a building, bro? Town? We didn't need you to do that. What the fuck? Oh, I was not expecting that. That was a whole UFO. We have a new enemy out there. An almost invisible foe that is so bigoted, so racially biased, they actually think we should all die. They are trying to attract our youth using tactics that are underhanded and unfair. But no matter how hard they hit us, we cannot let them take from us our PC. And so I have been asked to stay on as your principal. A lot of changes will happen in the coming months. But the bottom line is that the only thing that distinguishes those who want to kill us from those who don't is that we have the burning desire for social justice. We are at war. But the only way to win this war is to be as understanding, non-biased, and politically correct as possible. I don't know about the politically correct part. Just do you, bro. Bro, this has got to be one of the dopest seasons I've seen so far. This was insane. Holy sh From start to finish, I was glued to it. Remember the beginning of the season, bro? I was like, look, I'm gonna have different episodes in between. Like I'm gonna do the whole season, but I'm gonna have other episodes in between. That wasn't the case, bro. I did the whole thing back to back. Now, I don't know if I did season 20 already or if it was season 21 that I reacted to, but either way, we are gonna find out and whatever whatever season we didn't finish or whatever season we didn't do is what we're probably gonna do next. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You know what I mean? But yo, I appreciate y'all pulling up and watching this entire season with me. Do me a solid, smash that like button, Smash that subscribe button because a lot of y'all watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. You know what I mean? So y'all gotta y'all gotta help the channel get boosted into the algorithm. I hope that made sense. But anyways, till next time, I'm out. Peace.